Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is JT and today we're diving into mastering the layout system in Flutterflow. So if you've ever struggled to get your designs to look just right or you felt confused by rows, columns, or stacks, this video is for you. Stick around and by the end you'll be a pro at crafting pixel perfect layouts in Flutterflow. All right, so let's start with the basics. So in Flutterflow, or in Flutter, the layout system revolves around three main components, rows, columns, and stacks. So if we were even to take a look at this dashboard here, and I were to click here, you would see that starting out with our widget tree here, we have a column. And then inside of here, inside of the column, we have a row there, we have a row there, we've got a row here, so on and so forth. But even inside the rows, we have columns. and we have another row here that has a column of text and then it has an image, okay? And so it's just rows, columns, and stacks. That's kind of the fundamental, the foundation of how we build our layouts, all right? So if we create a new page, I'm gonna show you exactly how these work. So up here on the top left, we're gonna click Add Page. I'm gonna create blank and we're just gonna call this practice. All right, so let's start with columns. So as you can see, when you create a new page in Flutterflow, it kind of gives you the column to start with, because typically if you're creating a mobile application, you're just going to have the column uh, at the beginning of your widget tree, because your content is going to most likely be in a vertical direction. So top to bottom. Okay, and that's that's what columns are. They, they, it's a it's a mechanism that we use to allow us to stack widgets in a vertical uh, direction. And rows, we use it. We use rows to stack widgets in a horizontal position. And then stacks, we use to kind of have a little more freedom as to where you know our our widgets are going to go. And we'll we'll kind of get into that. But let's start with columns. Okay. So I'm going to go over here on the left-hand side, and I'm going to click this button here so I can add some widgets to this column, okay? I'm going to add two images. So as you can see, they stop or they stack vertically, top to bottom. And let's take a look at some of the properties that we have in a column. So if I click on the column here, you can either, either click it here in the UI builder, or you can click it over here on the widget tree, okay? Now, let's go over here on the right-hand side, and we'll see that we have some main axis alignment properties, and we have some cross-axis alignment. So the first thing to know about main axis alignment, when we're dealing with columns, because they are vertical, the main axis alignment is vertical. That, that, that's Whatever we apply here is done vertically in a column. When we're dealing with rows, the main axis alignment is dealing is horizontal, because rows... Uh, you know, stack widgets horizontally, right? So you have to be aware that main axis alignment behaves differently depending on if, if we're dealing with columns or rows, okay? So now we have all of our widgets aligned to the start of the main axis. Now, if I click this, you can see that our two images here go to the center. If I click this one, you can see it goes to the end. And we have space evenly, and then we have space around, and then of course we have space between. Okay, so I'm going to put this back to the start. Now the cross axis alignment is just the opposite. So this is the alignment um, horizontal whenever we're talking about columns. Okay, and so before I can show you that, let me wrap this column in a container and I'll explain why. So when we're dealing with uh, columns and rows, we don't have control over the height or the width. Okay, so we have to wrap it in a container. Containers give us access to a, a lot of different options, but ultimately it gives us the ability to define a height and a width. So as you can see, columns by default will take up all the room that's available to them, but you can see that we're stopped here. We're not going all the way to the edge, uh, you know, horizontally. So let's wrap this column in a container. So now it automatically selects container. And if you go over here and look at the properties, you can see we have a ton of different options. The one that we care about right now is width. So if we have the ability to define the width uh, 
with pixels. So if we wanted the width to be, you know, 50 pixels, you can see it's uh, much, much smaller. Uh, if we wanted it 500, that's what it would look like. And, uh, but what I like to do is to make sure that this works for all screen sizes, we can click infinity. And what that's going to do is no matter, I'm going to click this button here so I can control the size, no matter how wide the screen is, that container is going to use the full width. Okay. So now let's go back to column. So now when we mess with the cross axis alignment we, and we go to start, everything's going to be on the left hand side. If we go to end, it's going to be on the right hand side. And of course we have stretch and that makes all the widgets within the column you know, stretch to fill the available space. And again, because we're infinite uh, on our on our um, our width, that it's just gonna go as wide as it can. Okay. So that is our alignment. Now let's take a look at our item spacing. Okay. This is going to be down in this portion uh, for our column. And if we wanted, this is just going to be this defining the spacing between our widgets within the column. So, you know, a good, a good number to space your widgets is probably 10 to 15. And when I say 10 or 15, I'm referring to pixels. So if we put in 15 here, you can see that there's 15 pixels between this widget and this widget. And it's, it's just that simple. So if I click back on column, um, if you wanted to, you can click this little helper here that gives you 15 at the beginning and you can't see it, but there's 15 at the end. So if I were to add, Let's uh, right click this and duplicate and let's do it one more time. So you can see that if this column were scrollable, if we go down, you can see that we have that 15 uh, pixels of spacing down there at the very bottom. I just wanted to show you that as an example. So we'll turn the scrollable off. That's kind of out of the scope of, of today's lesson. But that is in a nutshell how the spacing works. And if you wanted to do uh, different spacing at the beginning, you can, you can always specify that. So if you wanted 10 pixels there and you only wanted uh, five pixels in between, you can kind of play with it however you want. So that's how the alignment and that's how the spacing works uh, for columns. And really it's kind of the same thing when it comes to rows. So let me right click this column and you can do something kind of handy here. We can replace this widget with a row. And so now you can see that the widgets are going to be stacked left to right instead of top to bottom, right? Because we're in a row now and it's going to work exactly the same way. I'm actually going to go to the container and it's the, I'm going to have infinite width, but I'm also going to have infinite height. And if you'll notice this green line here, it'll go all the way down to the bottom. And you'll also notice that our widgets are now uh, in the middle. Our cross axis alignment, let's go to row. Our cross axis alignment here is in the center, right? So if we go to the start, that's what that looks like. The end, and of course we can stretch them very similar to how we did columns. And the same goes for main axis alignment. If we want it in the center for the main, cause remember I told you main axis alignment is different depending on if we're talking about columns or rows in, in the case of rows, main axis alignment is the horizontal uh, alignment, right? Because we're, our rows go horizontally. So that's how that works. Okay. Same thing. So we're going to do the start there. And again, spacing is the same thing. So if we wanted to do 15 pixels between, it's going to work just like it does in columns. Easy peasy, right? So if you understand columns, you kind of already understand rows. Very, very similar. All right. Now let's get into stacks. Okay. So I'm going to delete that row. So I just click it and click backspace. Now inside this container, I want to add a stack and you can search for it. S, that's not an S, S-T-A-C-K, stack. Now let's add some more images to this. Now, what do we notice? We're looking at two images, but we only see one. Why is that? Well, stacks, literally, as the name implies, the widgets are stacked on one on top of the other. So this guy right here, this image, is on top of this image here. So that's why you don't see this image. But if I took this, clicked it and dragged it up here, now this image, which was right here, is now shown. Now what's cool about stacks and what's really cool about Flutterflow is you can click and drag these images wherever you want them, right? I click and drag this one wherever I want. And that's what's really neat about stacks and, and really gives you kind of uh, 
a, a ton of flexibility as to where you want your widgets to be. You see stacks used all the time, but probably the most uh, common is um, yeah, that I've seen a lot is like a profile page. So let me give you an example of what that would look like. All right, so I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna go over here to where we have this alignment property. I haven't shown you this yet, but the alignment property for images um, allows you to kind of specify where you want to line it up within the stack. So if I click this button here, it's going to be in the top left, top right, middle, so on and so forth. So in our case, we just want it to be top left. And I'm going to go here to the width and I'm going to make it infinite. All right, so we can have this nice image and I'm going to get rid of this border radius. So the border radius kind of makes, kind of gives you these rounded corners, right? So I'm actually just going to clear all of those out and just kind of make it straight across okay and so this we can we can go and change you know to our profile you know and this guy here our image what we can do I'm actually going to delete that and I'm going to use a different widget so let's go to stack and let's add a circular avatar or circular image here we go all right so it is on top but now I want this to be let's say 150 in diameter. So make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to click and drag, and put it right here. So now you can kind of see this is starting to look like uh, a typical profile page, right? So where we would have, this would be like the user's image. And then we would have, you know, kind of their name down here. And, and that's it for today's video. I hope you feel more confident working with the layout system in Flutterflow. Remember, rows, columns, and stacks are your best friends. Play around with these tools and you'll be designing stunning UIs in no time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Flutterflow tips and tutorials. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.